for that display. This is why Homeland Security must be squared away. Yes! Yes! That, come on, 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 dude. <laughs> He's, dude, dude, dude. Of ovens like that. This is why Homeland Security must be squared away. That's Kino. You can't make this up. Okay. And I'm excited. Yeah, Clay Higgins went full C earlier. He said, hold on, hold on. He said, LOL. These Haitians are wild. Aiding pets. Voodoo. Nastiest country in the Western Hemisphere. Cults. Slapstick gangsters. But damned if they don't feel all sophisticated now. Filing charges against our president and VP. All these thugs better get their mind right and their ass out of our country before January 20th. By the way, that is literally how he sounds, if you guys didn't know. Um, unsurprising that Representative Clay Higgins is a unrestricted, unhinged, unimaginable who could have foreseen this who could have thought that this was the case um well i don't know maybe this kind of street gang is responsible right except for this one's at all could be a railroad anywhere right except for this one's at auschwitz birkenau the expansion of auschwitz where four more large were built like 2,000 people at a time on these rails rode those poor souls Hauled in from all over Europe. It says many as 20, 25% of them died on the train. Cause sometimes it's just like, how do you go? Why are you glazing this guy? He's not a good person. I, you think I'm glazing this guy? Are you stupid? I'm making fun of him. Okay. He went, he went to the, he went to Auschwitz and was like, time to bust out my phone camera and make a really compelling video about the horrors of the <laughs> now. Now, the, this is like, it's just so, like, this is why I always say, this is why I always say, half of these problems would be solved if there was, like, half of these psychopaths would live way happier lives if there was an arts program funded at the national level. If there was, like, a federal arts program that went in to the Deep South, went into places like Louisiana, and just basically told these guys that they could be the theater kids that they want to be. Okay. They straight up, this guy would have never become a cop. He would have just been living with his living in his polycule. Okay. We'd be living in an objectively different world. He's just, if I didn't know better, I would think this is a parody. It's funny because he had to retract his Auschwitz video and apologize after criticism. Okay. This is when he went with, uh, I think Trump where he recorded a five minute video uh, and on Wednesday afternoon, he apologized for it. And he said, I filmed the Auschwitz message with great humility. My intent was to offer a reverent homage to those who were in Auschwitz and to remember the world that evil exists, that free nations must remember and stand strong. However, my messages caused pain to some whom I love and respect for that. My own heart feels sorrow out of respect to any who may feel that my video posting was wrong or caused pain. I have retracted my video. Now, let me tell you something. Okay. You think he's going to have a statement like that about the Haitians? No, no. Anyway, these that happened in Auschwitz were truly despicable and we must never let history repeat itself in such a way. I have always stood with Israel and all Jewish people and I always will. We live in a dangerous world and massive forces of evil do indeed yet exist. We must all stand united against those evils. Anyway, he like deleted the video, but he literally got yelled at by the Auschwitz Memorial Auschwitz Museum because chat, this video gets so much worse. Let's take a look. Times the trip was seven, eight, ten days. Had no food or water. Eventually, those who survived the trip ended up here on these rails. great sense of dread comes over you imagine being like imagine being like a like a jewish dude who's going to auschwitz okay on a trip to auschwitz to just like look at the horrifying nature of the okay and you're over there and you're trying to like really 
just take it all in about like the the horrifying nature of these okay and how serialized this was and you got this potato head okay walking through the the shoe pile being like that's right because of the we must actually beef up our national security you know and yes he did do that he went into the ovens he went into the gas chamber and that's where he actually uh delivers the riveting commentary that i just made which is that the reminded him of why we have to beef up the Department of Homeland Security. You're in this place. Imagine Jonathan Glazier is filming the museum scene and this was just like, man, that was bad. No, he would be like, the serialized death and destruction, the mortality of it all. It made me think about tax cuts that we must give to the wealthy. <laughs> that, this cut is perfect too. Where like the, the video maker, Windows uh, movie maker, Cut right there. Cyclone, the actual cans used 1.1 million innocent civilians here in Auschwitz. I said it would squeeze 700 people in here. Bro is filming, and I repeat, inside of the. He is vlogging inside of the. Bro, this is. You know, this is a Hasanabi like favorite. This is one of my favorite videos that any Republican has ever filmed of all time okay it is so insane like it is so incredible that he put this together and he edited it and i know while he was editing it his tongue was sticking out of his mouth he was like mm. <laughs> like he was really trying to put this together with his potato ass thumbs the guards would drop cyclone five from above through hatches the cyanide pellets activated when they hit oxygen after about 20 minutes, everyone was dead. And then would go into the room and drag those, the bodies of those poor souls out and bring them and them in these ovens. There were three sets of ovens like that. No, I'm not adding this music, bro. I don't know if he added it or if it plays automatically when you go to that display. This is why Homeland Security must be squared away. Yes! Yes! That, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, dude. He's, dude, dude, dude. The ovens like that. This is why Homeland Security must be squared away. That's Kino. You can't make this up, okay? You got this potato headed inside of the ovens, like inside of the goddamn gas chamber at Auschwitz, being like, I'm filming this entire thing. And right now, in this very moment, the one thing on my mind is that we must give more money to the Department of Homeland Security. Why our military must be invincible. This is the cell for prisoners in Building 11 in Auschwitz. They would, they would squeeze as many as 40 at a time men in here, standing up, just squeeze them in. It's a small room. And they'd close the door, a heavy, solid door. Yeah, by the way, he's a Louisiana sheriff. You know his ass doesn't give a fuck about And actually loves slave labor for the record let's let's be real for a second okay mr oh they did until they ran out of it and died suffocating in that manner sometimes it take two or three days it also is hilarious it is so close to his face here too this is why we must remember these things man's inhumanity to man i just wanted you to know that anson cooper just said your talking point about how migrants commit proportional to citizens of america regarding Rep Higgin, representative higgins deplorable comments and i hope you know your impact no, nah, I don't think it's my impact. It would be quite shocking. The world's a smaller place now than it was in World War II. My final thoughts on this day. Dude, come on, dude. The United States is more accessible to terror like this, horror like this. It's hard to walk away from than ovens without a very sober feeling of commitment, unwavering commitment to make damn sure that the United States of America is protected from the yeah, dude, that's that's the that's the lesson to get from never again. I don't get it. I saw all my Israeli friends at the APEC summit used for a justification, and I thought, why not for America in the same way? I thought to myself, I forgot. Maybe it looks a little weird when I do it directly at the at the 
<laughs> death camp of Auschwitz. And the evils of the world. Oh, he oh, no! Oh, yes! 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 I forgot the last two photos, bro. Everyone post your rarest rep Cliggett, uh, representative Clay Higgins. A fine vintage Higgins filmed in the Auschwitz and called for a strong police state. Dude, it's hilarious because he's like, we need a strong Department of Homeland Security so that we too can put the Mexicans in the same predicament. <laughs> like, like you are directly advocating for the thing that you are supposedly criticizing when you say that.